So basically what we have here are the six Kryptonite Rising 2010 winners. And uh, we've been really fortunate that James Solomon Gallery is exhibiting these artists for uh, the next couple of weeks here in his Chelsea Gallery. And so, um, you know, these artists, these six rising winners were chosen on November 2nd of last year. And then for the, you know, really the next 12 months, we give them unusual exposure and attention. We help sell their work. Every one of the artists here in the show has, has sold work through Kipton Art uh, since they were chosen. So the six rising winners for 2010 were chosen by our seven-member curatorial board. And uh, those board, that board actually consists of a very diverse group of individuals, meaning uh, gallery owners, uh, faculty, and art advisors. So my name is Kiritin Baya, and I'm a photographer based in New York. I'm, I come from France, and I became interested about photography because I will see a lot of things with my eyes that I really wanted to, that I thought was really aesthetic. And those are my two photographs. Uh, it was on a project that I work uh, in India, in, uh, in an area called uh, Tamil Nadu, southeast coast of India. And I did, I did those uh, pictures just after the tsunami. First of all, I concentrate uh, more on children in, uh, in India because they, they didn't really like, um, concentrate on the disaster, but more about the future. And when I met them, they were more talking about education, the future of the country. And so that's what I wanted to point it more than than the disaster and I thought it like it was interesting to have it as a still, you know. And uh, I want and I like also um, social work and uh, I like to the interaction with people and all that. So I like to catch that with my camera too. Okay, my experience with Kipton Hall have been uh, really helpful. So to show my work outside because usually artists they are like in the studio and in this project they don't, don't really think about like promotion and, and advertising and all that. So it was a really great experience and a lot of opportunities. So yeah, I was really happy about that. I'm Avery McCarthy and uh, this is a piece from my series There Are No Stars Here. Um, I am an artist and I went to the School of Visual Arts and majored in photography. And the project was about finding celestial light in New York City where there are no stars in the sky. Um, and as I traveled and um, you know, continued working on it, it kind of became about uh, celestial light in modern cities. Kipton Art is just amazing. It's an amazing thing they're doing for artists um, at this time. And it's amazing that I was able to, you know, to, to be a part of it. My name is Julie Combal, and um, I'm an artist here for, for Kipton Art. This one is titled Une année dans l'air, which translates in English to a year in the air. And um, these pieces are mostly inspired by nature, nature's elements, and man's relationship with nature. Uh, for me, the, the gold sort of symbolizes the, the wealth that we find in nature and that man attributes to nature, but it's always kind of hidden in. These are titled um, Midnight in the Garden and Underwater. And these also are about um, nature, and the gold leaf is also present in, in each one of these and embedded into the paints. This, these have sort of more of a, a nighttime feel to them. You know, a little bit of mystery that you find under the water or in a garden. The, the opportunity to get my work out into galleries and into venues has really just been fantastic. I started photography because of the, the gratification and instant gratification of making images and the control I can have in the image. Um, a lot of my work relates to the form and shape uh, because there's a beauty to it that is so classic that I really love. Every detail matters to me. And usually, you know, I do portraiture as well, but it's more of the characteristics of the person. It's a person I want to get to know and find out more about. Uh, my experience with Kipton Art has been great. At first I was wary, but uh, the, the audience he's shown my work to has been great, and Kipton has actually brought me further as an artist, uh, developed further, and has made amazing contacts for me. Hi, my name's Emily Corman. I'm a photographer, and these are my two pieces. They're both untitled and from the same series. 
Some people think that the images are kind of dark and mysterious, and that's exactly what I want. Although I have an idea in my mind what happened, I like the viewer to be able to look at them and just basically make any story that they want. Kipton Art has been really, really great to me. Uh, I made my first sale with them, which was very exciting, and they've had me in a few shows now. Um, it's my first real show, and I'm very happy to be here, and I wouldn't be if it wasn't for Kipton Art. Yeah, so we're already starting to think about Kipton Art Rising 2011. So by August 1st, of 2010, the artists actually have to be registered on KiptonArt.com, and, and at that point, the uh, seven-member curatorial board will go through the site, narrow it down to the 20 finalists. The 20 finalists will then be exhibited in New York um, in October. October 5th is the date where we actually want to have the uh, the winner winners chosen for Kipton Art Rising 2011, and then we'll follow that up with a fundraiser. Raise funds for scholarships for our six rising winners.